Perhaps the most intelligent individual in the Kingdom Hearts series, writing the Book of Prophecies and the mastermind behind a lot of the Kingdom Hearts series' most major events, the Master of Masters. We found out a lot about him through Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and the movie Key Back Cover. Today, I want to look into one cutscene in particular that happened towards the later half of Union Cross. This was a scene with the Master of Masters and Lushu, who both hadn't been seen together on screen for a long time at this point. It started off with the Master of Masters talking about his childhood, which is something very interesting since it technically is the oldest piece of lore we now know. He discussed many things, not in great detail, but some things that were food for thought for Lushu. This was the start of us seeing glimpses into the motivations of the Master, and exactly why this plan was even being executed the way it was, which got elaborated on a ton. During the final story update, the Master has been fighting since he's been young. From the sounds of it, he's been fighting all his life against darkness. From this perspective, the Master is just tired, which seems to be a partial motivation behind his plan and disappearance. Appearance, leaving the future to the children. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, unlike a lot of us thought, wasn't the start of the Keyblade War, but just another instance of it, but this time it destroyed the world, as the Master revealed to us. When the Master was describing darkness during this cutscene, he said something very odd, that I think will be expanded upon as we progress through the next saga. He said that darkness looked like them, this being before the formless entities of darkness we see now. I really, really wonder if they'll ever elaborate on on the look like them part specifically, since it creates a lot of interesting points for narratives. We know darkness can take a form and hide inside someone, but did darkness originate from these people the Master was talking about? Darkness is in the hearts of everyone in Kingdom Hearts with a few exceptions, so it makes sense, but I wonder the specifics. The Master said that he was the only relevant Keyblade wielder as well, which to me implies either two things. He was the first or one of the first Keyblade wielders to ever exist, or this is Nomura inserting himself in the story and telling us nothing else about this matters. Maybe he'll explore it one day and I'm positive we'll get even more about the master in the future, but for now, this is all I'm telling you or all you need to know. That's kind of how I interpret it. I really do want to see the first Keyblade War though, if the master's Keyblade War was the first, or if it was just one of many like he described. The master seems like he has been around for a long time and has seen a lot of tragedy, and he seems pretty old as well, but it's hard to say exactly how old. Like, if I had to guess, just based off of the voice and expressions, he doesn't seem as old as is like Master Xehanort is in Union Cross, but it's really hard to tell because we see the Master behaving the exact same way to young Xehanort, and we know that that's decades later. So the Master's aging process might be a little weird, or potentially this isn't the first time he's disappeared before. Maybe he's disappeared in the past and has just maintained like his youthfulness or something close to that for a long time. And he's actually like hundreds, centuries of years old or something. But that's a whole other theory. The Master's just weird. It's just weird discussing his age in general. That's all I'm getting at. The Union Cross story, though, is very, very dark, but has a large feeling of hopefulness. Which both of these in combination contrast extremely well in the ending. I feel like the Master was characterized a lot in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and I think telling his backstory could be very beneficial, but could be going a little too far and doesn't need to be fully explained depending on what happens next. Though there are clear signs of some more personal motivations by the Master, rather than just a simple he wants light to win over darkness. If they did want to tell that story, dive deeper into it, I'm all ears. Though. I want to know what you guys have to say. What do you think? Do you think we'll get even more info about the Master's childhood? Did what we get from it interest you at all? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed today's video though, you already know what to do. Leave a like, share the video with a friend or a family member, and last but not the least, you have not already, and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is that red subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out to you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer.